hey hey mailbag 14-ish and it really doesn't fit underneath the camera so I'll open them up one at a time starting with the big box since I know what it is and I'm just gonna pause for a second and empty the box okay. Let's see if I can get this open underneath here after whacking the camera Number one out of one box. Container number two. And the Covenant airbags. So these are uh, glands, cable glands. Got a variety of sizes here. Hopefully one of the sizes will fit. I ain't gonna sort through all these. But they are, let's see, uh, PG7s, PG PG13.5s, PG's 21s. So this assortment should go from three millimeter up to 16 millimeter. And I'm gonna bet that's the three millimeter one there. I'll show you where I'll be using these uh, shortly. Now, let me just pause this. Oh, um, of these, I got my notes, uh, cost me $16.99. Uh, there's the four sizes and 10 of each. And I'll be going outside and I'll show you how I'm going to use these. But I also need this at the same time. It rattles. So, pretty self-explanatory, it's a crimper that's been opened or banged about. So the whole idea on these, I think most of us know this one already, is, okay, I'll just show the butt one. Stick wire in, stick wire in, they even color coded it, put it in there, and crimp. So. I'm just, we're just going to pop outside for a moment and I'll show you where these are going to be used. Okay, so here's the hummingbird feeder. I had to do a repair to it. So I was in a hurry, so I just cut the wire. So I'll now use a butt one to connect it. Stick it on the color coded one. So instead of using a bit of tape, I now have it butted together. And it'll be a bit better electrical connection. Um, I was not able to do this one-handed. So, oh well. Now, on to the next. So currently, this is my power distribution for my festive lights. Power cord comes in through the window. Goes to... Uh, Timer goes to an octopus, a very nice octopus, with the USB um, power adapters going out to all the wires, which then goes out to all the lights. That will be replaced with what I'll show you in a moment. So instead of using the car, I'll be using a container kind of like this. I'll be a lot smaller one where I can then just mount for the power going in and the appropriate size for the power going out to all the lights and that way it's nice and watertight and the next bag i think i know what's in this one but i'm not 100 percent sure so i probably have labels on yes we have labels on labels Okay, 
One bag turns into two bags. So let's see here. Okay. Maybe I don't know what's in this package. Ah, okay, he's got here quick. Okay, I had to do a little bit of checking. These are straightforward. They're uh, the 24 uh, LED uh, addressables. Um, I have no stock. I'm going to have more stock because I bought a whole bunch from another vendor. And they were uh, $2.12 a piece. Now, the part that got confusing is, how do I know what is what? So I've hooked up. One of these should be um, slow flash as it goes through the colors. And the other one should be slow and fast flash. So I've hooked up LEDs down here. So this looks like it's the slow flash. Eh, not too bad. Okay, I'm just going to hook up the other one, so give me a moment. Okay, now this is the other LEDs. Okay, oops. Let's do this carefully. So this would be the slow, fast flash one. And I saw this um, on a pile of stuff when he was tearing apart um, a cheap Bluetooth uh, speaker, I believe it was. I'll put as much as I can somewhere up there, down there. So that's a nice little uh, LED. One moment. Okay. So... Uh, the slow and flash combined, uh, they were, at the same price as these uh, slow ones, uh, $2.04 per 50. So I bought 100, so $4.08 for that package, and $4.08 for this package. And I can't remember if I told you what these were, uh, $2.12 a piece. And these got here pretty quick. I ordered it on November 11th. And it arrived December 5th. So, on to the next package. Should be lots of stuff in this one. And a thank you. More air. Okay, <laughs> not what I thought was going to be in this package. Uh, this is, an, I believe it's an XR1-B radiation detector. And I thought it was in that package. And I don't feel like having any batteries in it. Give me a moment. Okay, got some batteries. Let's see, on. Okay, maybe I better have to hold, oh, there we go. Sound. Yeah, 
Well, oh, did make a little click sound there. Let me just go grab something that's radioactive. Okay, get out the trusty Coleman uh, mantle. And it's definitely showing that it's radioactive. And I'll be doing a comparison with in another video with my uh, CQ GMC 500 to see how well this compares to this one. And on to the next.